Hey, what's up? Chanel, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be blasting and discussing Azath through a warren of shadow. Look at that awesome Mark Riddick artwork for one of the most fucking underrated releases so far of 2020 when it comes to death metal. Like... 100% totally underrated, and if you disagree with me, then disagree with me, but I have honestly not heard anyone talk about this release outside of the homie John Randall, who was nice enough to snag this from Pulverized Records for the channel, and I've been sitting on this for a while, and it's just feels like a good time to go over how fucking good this is, especially with the new one, the gang, on the horizon, because the vocal delivery here is just, oh my goodness, very, very much Unda gang inspired, but throw in some pummeling fucking, like, black thrash metal approach with the drums, thanks to Torture Rack's Pierce Williams. Holy shit. Pierce is a great drummer, but he's also a, a multi-instrumentalist. And his drumming on here is just... Wow. Seriously, so good. Definitely, in my opinion, the standout performance, aside from the vocals. Like, Pierce is just a fucking beast. Seriously, a goddamn beast. And the vocals, dismal and phlegm-soaked. It's fucking great. And you get 11 tracks. It's just one of the best releases of 2020 that no one has even remotely really talked about. In my little circle, at least. Like, there's a few people that I, I know grab the demo from Caligari. I wish I was one of those people, but I remember it sold out very quickly. And then it was like when the full length came out, nobody picked it up. I, I, I really don't know. But holy shit, this is absolutely devastating. But at the same time, it has some catchy guitar work with that kind of, like I said, it has a black thrash approach to it, but at the same time, just phlegm-soaked, dismal death metal. It's fucking cool. It's such a good hybrid of styles, and especially with the drumming. The drumming is just top-notch. And, you know, if you look at Pierce's work with everything he's ever done, like... Even from, like, Blood Freak to Lord Gore, it's like, wow. Like, you're one talented fucking dude, man. Pierce rules, and the rest of this band, um, I think, uh, you have some members from Ossuarium, who, another band that I feel like kind of got forgotten, like, a little bit. You know, they were on a roll on 20 Bucks Spin, put out a badass full length, Living Tomb, and then it was like, you know, nobody talked about it anymore. And it's still, that's a record I throw on, you know, every so often. And again, that demo. Everybody was about that demo when it first came out. Like, almost everybody I talked to in the extreme music underground was like yo like have you heard this ossuarium demo and you know they were making moves they made moves to 20 bucks spin and i feel the same with azath like through a warren of shadow this is so fucking good but like i really feel like it's going over a lot of people's heads and i hope this video really Reels some of you in and gets you into this because trust me, this is so fucking sick. And it's sick in 
just so many different ways because it doesn't sound like your typical death metal record. And that's because of the drum sound. The drum sound is just something on a completely different level and it's great. And it just works so fucking well with like Brandon Corsair playing rhythm guitar, Derek Orthner on vocals and bass, and Derek, your vocals are so fucking good. Seriously, like, amazing vocal delivery here. It's a great mix, like, if you're a fan of Frenolith, Wunda Gang, it has, like, a Kill Town vibe to it, but at the same time, not as, like, disgusting and phlegm, like, it is phlegm-soaked, but not, like, like, vomiting, like, it's very just like super fucking brutal sounding and awesome. Like it, again, it really, really makes this something that stands out because like a Zaf doesn't. I can't be like, oh, like it sounds like so and so. Like the vocals are to me inspired by David from Wonder Gang and Frenolith, Worm Ridden, you know, early Hyperdontia, but like. This has its own style as well, but it just, that's what it, the first thing that came to my head was, whoa, like, it sounds like a less sewer-soaked version of David, and fuck yeah, dude, hails Derek, man. Andrew Lee on lead and rhythm guitar, and the mighty Pierce Williams on session drums, like, that lineup is fire. And again, you get some really awesome artwork by Mark Riddick showing he can draw more than just skeletons and Satan, but also he drew a really good skeleton right there, which is also on the uh, actual 12 inch. It's the sticker for the B side and it's fucking badass looking. It's like brown. It's just super cool. And uh, music by Azath, lyrics by Brandon, and engineered by Brandon, Andrew Lee, Derek, the drum engineering by Charlie from Ascended Dead. He's He did drums on the last Skeletal Remains, and now Pierce is drumming in Skeletal Remains. It's kind of fucking cool, like Charlie does something, and Pierce can back him up. Because they're two of the best drummers in extreme music. I feel like Charlie was essential when it came to Incantation kind of digging themselves out of kind of repeating the same record over and over again. He was one of those guys that just jumped in and, you know, you know, to me, breathed a lot of new life into the band, but... Great drum engineering and whatnot by Charlie Karen from the Underworld. Guitar reamping by Adam Gamble. Mixing and layout by Derek Ofnir. Mastering by Dan Lowndes. I I think that a cursed womb should definitely try and work with Dan. He does some of the best work in the fucking game. Like honestly. Everything Dan touches just sounds great. All artwork by Mark Riddick. So that means Mark drew this bad boy up. That's a little more like the demo. The demo had some really cool artwork. And I for, again, I never got a copy of it. So I don't know who did the art. But uh, Dan Butler actually does some adi additional vocals on a track. Which is fucking sick. Dan Butler from Vastum, fuck yeah, like, that's awesome, and trust me, Azath threw a warren of shadow on pulverized records, this is 11 tracks of awesome American death metal, seriously, if you don't like this, I don't know what to tell you, like, seriously, it's one of those releases where it's like, you can feel your fucking hair growing, and it's just fucking sick. 
I, I really, really, really love this release right here. A zap through a warren of a shadow, pummeling fucking death metal. With a black thrash edge when it comes to the drumming. Like, the drumming is just a neck. Like, like, seriously, I've never heard drums mixed this, like, well and, like, this prominently in a mix. The drums are very loud, they're very punchy sounding, and it just brings everything together and makes this just really, really dialed sounding record. And I just fucking really enjoy it. Like, it's one of those releases. The instrumentals are great. Everything about it, it's fucking good. And with 11 tracks, like, it has a nice runtime. I don't know the runtime off the top of my head. But trust me, Through a Warren of Shadow is fucking awesome. The brutal will of the gods is opposed by the terrified children who worship another or nothing. Enforcement of divine will requires a terrible power. Matched with the willingness to defend the Empriarch. Both in desire and flesh. Strength and speed are the wrath of the sword. Fucking sick shit, seriously. Check this out. Links will be in the video description. Azath. Through a Warren of Shadow. Pulverized Records did the CD and the LP. I don't know who did the cassette. Again, I would love to have this on tape as well. But so fucking good. So heavy and just a killer slab of death metal that more people need to talk about. Like, there's a lot of talk of swords and just like cool shit. Rage of the Elder, Wrath of the Desert. A rending given form by the hatred of the goddess. Just super fucking cool lyrical content. I cannot suggest this enough for all you death metal maniacs out there. This is grade A death metal. Especially in a year like 2020. This is one of those releases, like I said, I really feel like it's going over a lot of people's heads. Maybe it's kind of hard to get your hands on it. I don't really know, but what I do know is Azath hit one out of the stratosphere with Through a Warren of Shadow. So fucking get into it, grab your battle sword, and enjoy these 11 tracks of killer fucking death metal on pulverized records heavy hails and thanks for watching as always you fucking rule we were blasting a zeth through a warren of shadow just killer fucking shit i can't get over how good this is and it's another one like i should have reviewed this months ago i've been sitting on it and I don't know why I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, but here it is, a Zeth through a warren of a shadow, fucking 9 out of 10, like, pretty much it's on the money for everything it is, like, seriously, if you've never heard of Zeth, Prepare yourself, because you're going to be like, holy shit, how did I miss this? And hopefully you could still get physical copies. Like, it took a little bit for Pulverize to get this over, but hey, fuck yeah. It was worth the wait, and just a killer release, and we have to thank John Randall for making this happen. Heavy, heavy hails, and heavy hails to a Zaf. Through a Warren of a Shadow. Well, through a Warren of Shadow. I keep wanting to say of a, uh, I don't know why. But it is pure fire. So as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Definitely check out the links in the video description.